thanks to y'all's loyal patronage, I just stepped it up a notch or two. gun psychiatrist here and uh, in this update uh, we have some new kits to cover I want to kind of show you guys some of the things that have been going on around since we've gotten moved in and settled finally not necessarily settled but there's just been a lot of stuff going on um, I've been having to do a lot of renovations if you can see behind me the fireplace is kind of pulled apart and stuff I'm working on putting some uh, wood planks up that thing and finishing up some tile and uh, it's been nuts couple that with engineering school at ACPI my schedule has been very very busy to say the least so sorry you guys haven't seen any uh, gun related videos I got some stuff in the works but I just have to finish the work around here before I can get to working on that so in this video I'm going to kind of give you guys an update of what's been going on out here and also thanks to all your patronage I have been able to create these new shim kits so what are these? And for those out there that may be just new to this channel, um, I sell these uh, shim kits to shim out the play on your AR-15 rifles or AR platforms. The, the, what they do is they really help you achieve a precision upper-lower fit on the AR platform because everybody knows the, the options out there are really limited to remove the play in the upper and lower receivers. Instead of using wedge type devices that can wear out such as the AccuWedge, a more permanent solution exists with these shim kits. While an upper tension set screw will force out the play, it's just not enough. By employing specially designed shims in combination with a brass tip upper tension set screw, you can achieve maximum precision of the AR platform. And why do I say that? Just because you run a set screw up there and force all this pressure on it doesn't mean that that play is gone. The play still exists, and when you shoot your rifle, it can bump your receiver back and forth. Even though you can't move it by hand, the, the shock of that recoil can actually move your receiver out of alignment. So some of you guys that might have some you know, erratic grouping or what have you, that's usually what's occurring depending on how bad the play is in your upper and lower. I never would have thought in a million years that these kits would have gone the way they'd have. They're super popular. Everybody's getting them. I'm super impressed and super thankful for all you guys. But I've realized just starting out in this, the kits were somewhat limited. You know, they're just designed for one guy, one gun, or one gal, one gun to shim out the play. I wanted to go after something a little bit bigger. And what got me thinking about this is for the latter part of 2020, firearm and accessory sales uh, had absolutely skyrocketed, leaving the supply chain struggling to meet consumer demands. You know, for many small gun shops out there that rely on this inventory and supply chain to keep the bills paid, the supply chain issues have either forced these gun shops out of business or have forced them to diversify their capabilities. My goal behind these gunsmith sh uh, shim kits are to expand the capabilities of armors and gun stores alike so they can offer a new service to their clients. I basically designed these kits off of our popular APG shim kits, but our new gunsmith kits are designed specifically for professional gunsmiths and small shops alike. I have loaded these kits with enough shims to tram 50 AR platform rifles or pistols at an exceptional value. The gunsmith shim kits come neatly packaged in durable clear parts organizers that feature dividers coated with a corrosion inhibitor that emits a vapor that's non-toxic to prevent any of the parts inside from rusting. The reason I did this is many gunsmiths, if you're like me, uh, work in non-climate control settings. Now, yeah, you might have a room in the back of your shop that's climate controlled, but most of the time you're going to be working in an environment that does not have climate controls employed in that building. So when selecting a parts organizer, I wanted Made in America 
and I wanted one that would prevent the oxidation of any of the components inside. So these boxes are literally designed to work where you are. The kits total include 100 shims in all, allowing the armor to tram about 50 firearms. Uh, whether you want to charge $10 or $50 to install the shims on an AR platform, the value these kits offer is exceptional. Not only will these kits provide your customers with a more precision fitting rifle or pistol, they will provide you with a very healthy revenue stream and return on investment. So right here you have just the regular gunsmith kit, which is the smaller kit, still has the same amount of shims, and then you have the master kit. So with the master kits, it also includes our popular upper tension set screw hole installation kit with 20 brass tip upper tension set screws. And why did I include this in here? Because this can become a very popular service for your business as many AR platform rifles and pistols do not have the upper tension set screw holes milled into them. This portion of the kit alone will allow you to install holes on 20 guns and can possibly yield about $1,200 in revenue for you. Depends on what you charge. I think about 60 bucks to do that and compared to the amount of setup time, the knowledge and skill that it takes. I think about 60 bucks a gun is, is pretty fair value for most gunsmiths. Either way, I'm really excited to offer these kits for sale to industry professionals. But, you know, if you're just a guy that wants a, a large amount of shims, they're available for you to buy as well. I want these kits to go out to everybody. I'm going to put the links in the description down below. So now until the end of 2020, December 31st, I have $20 off on these master kits and $10 off on the regular gunsmith shim kits. Thank you guys for all your patronage. Now, the, the kits and stuff that I sell on the website, obviously these shims are really expensive. And the kits I sell on the website, I don't make a lot of money on them, but it's enough to kind of keep growing to the goals that I want to grow to. I want to be able to put things on this channel so someone can say, hey, I want to learn how to do this or I want to do that or, or what have you. I, I can have the resources out there, buy what I need to get to do that video and put on this channel. A lot of you know that I'm not like, many of the YouTubers and bit shooters and all this stuff out there with these Patreon panhandle accounts. You know, I, I try to put products on the website that I think you'll need and I make a couple bucks off of those and you guys buy them. These kits are literally from your patronage. I got to looking at it. I'm like, there's just one shim kit. There has to be a solution out there that can help other gunsmiths grow their business. I'm about building people up and not tearing people down. And I think these kits are going to help build up armors and build up their, their service offerings, and, and a lot of good things can come out of these kits for people. So thank you guys for all your patronage, because now I can offer these kits to help grow our industry. Hopefully uh, Joe Biden won't destroy it, but we'll see what happens with that. There's a lot of counts that have to happen, accurate counts that have to happen. So anyways, I'm going to be putting these up on the website tonight and getting them available for sale. Um, so definitely check that out. The link will be in the description below. Now for the fun stuff, the updates, what's been keeping me off YouTube? Why have I been so distracted? So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour and let you check it. So this is the fireplace that I'm working on and we're having to run wood ship lop up the top. And I'm working on putting tiles in here up around the slip on the hearth and uh, it's just a slow process and of course this will be all wood up here we had to paint our whole house so the other thing that I had that was a major thing that had to be done is this uh, well right out there you can see that little well right there well that well was actually tied into this power pole right here and <laughs> the problem is is the house meter is right over there you can see where the meter comes in it drops down on that side of the house well the people that have this place built they just never bothered to tie the well to the electric in the house and they had a single power pole right here feeding that well so that required me to actually have to go and get some two gauge wire and run 175 feet of wire out to that well from the house wiring a sub panel outdoor sub panel out there because you know obviously i'm gonna put a little shed over that so We'll have, you know, a little bit of electric and stuff like that out there to still power the well. 175 feet is a long way to go, especially when you configure in your voltage drops on your electric line. Um, <laughs> it was crazy. So there is a, uh, basically, I'll show you this, is a 24-inch trench that is dug from this side of the house right here 
all the way out to that well and it's somewhat filled in there's a couple little backfilling i have to do just by a few inches or so and then this power pole uh, was feeding that line the power company actually came out and cut that out the other day now i have to rip this power pole out and it's just been leaning like that i don't think it has you know ever set properly in the ground the other thing i had to do for drainage out here was these uh these french drain lines well they're not really french drains but they're basically uh just solid corrugated pipe i had to run it down to uh gather water away from these gutters because it was starting to really erode this uh you know built up area out here really bad so um all in all there's probably about 400 feet of trench and with this 400 feet of trenches it basically just runs around the whole three sides of the house to catch all the runoff from the gutters um this is where kind of where i stopped one of my ideas here was to check because this area right in here fills up with water terribly bad and I think a lot of it had to do with the gutters running off, which it has, this pipe actually has solved some of the, uh, the runoff issues with the gutters, but I'm still going to have to put a French drain line that runs all the way around from our driveway through here. It'll tie in right here and have to go off. You see a little hill right there. The, the drop on that's just enough to deposit this drain line and have it run out into the side of that uh, hay field right there. And um, it's it's just, it's a lot of work. When I initially did this, this is my Veterans Day project. I, I did this and filled all these trenches in on Veterans Day. The day before that, it had actually rained and that caused some serious issues because all the trenches that I had lined out and graded and everything swelled. So I actually had to go back through and redig all the trenches in order for the drain pipe to fit in the hole. And it was just a freaking mess. Um, it took a lot of time, a lot of hard work and effort, but hey, it paid off. It's, it's definitely serving the purpose and doing what it needs to do. So here's what we ended up doing at the well. We terminated the wire into a box. Um, the concrete grade stakes are going to be for a little uh, five by five square, uh, probably three inch thick little slab of concrete I'm going to pour in here. That way I can get rid of this board. This thing was like just redneck together, man. And uh, I'm going to have to bring that up, get this piping. Looks like we got a little critter hole right here, too. I'm going to have to get this uh, piping into the ground, up through the concrete, or what will become the concrete. And then, you know, the well will actually sit in the concrete with that sitting on top of it. Um, that well should have been capped off around the sides. What can happen is when it rains, the rain can run down the sides of the well over time and contaminate your drinking water and stuff like that so i've heard i'm no well freaking expert but uh every well i've ever seen always has some type of a protective barrier over the top of it and this was just i don't know this was just redneck together but hey we love it out here it's just the cost of owning a home so we just got to get her done um now we're going to go down here because this is going to be the part you guys want to see so what is this this is the future lab of the gun psychiatrist in this channel um this barn was included with the property when we bought the place but this is going to be where a lot of the videos upcoming are going to be shot and filmed right here on site so this is the shop 36 by 32 and um this will be the uh <laughs> This will be the future home of Alabama Precision Gunworks as well. A lot of this stuff I'm going to construct and build myself. I have to dry this in. There's a lot of work to do down here. Uh, but this is where some of the how-to videos are going to be taken. Uh, the concrete guys come in and did this. I, I didn't do the concrete myself. I just, I don't have the resources to do that. Uh, it, takes a, it takes a village to do a pad like this. But sorry about the clutter down here. A lot of this stuff back here was trash that was left by the previous homeowners. But uh, slowly but surely, I'm, I'm having to clean this property up. But, uh, you know, right here we'll have a little showroom for guns and uh, whatever. I, I'm not going to carry a lot of guns. I don't like competing with gun stores. I like garnering their business and working on their customers' guns for them. I don't want to compete with my friends. So this is the, uh, this is the future. And um, it's going to be a long process. But I'm, I'm hoping by April I'll have this thing fully dried in and, and operational. And uh, then we can kind of kick off and go from there. 
I'm still in school and you know I thought SDI was easy this this ECPI if you guys are looking for a challenge out there ECPI is hard man and if, when it comes down to doing pre-calculus and stuff I'm just not the mathematician that uh a lot of you out there probably are and uh it, it's it's not easy the once I get through the math I think it'll it'll get easy but I I just suck at doing math so this is it. I just wanted to show you guys what we got. We got some uh, great wildlife out here uh, over in this uh, corner over here right there. I got a little game camp set up. We got some uh, beautiful deer out here. Um, the deer are absolutely amazing. Um, very, very big bucks. I'll tell you that. Anyways, I uh, appreciate you guys watching this channel update. And um, I... I... <laughs> I got to get back to doing some videos for folks, but uh, anyways, I just want to thank all y'all for your business and patronage. Thanks for uh, getting these kits, man, and, and like I said, the more you guys do and uh, the more you guys uh, support my channel and support the products that we're putting out there to make your shooting experience better, the more I'm going to grow that and make better things and better products out there. Ultimately, what I want to get to is... I do have a uh, gunsmithing tool that none of you know about yet. You know, obviously I put one up about a year ago. Um, I've been having some supply chain issues with the machine shop. That's yeah, that's another story for another day. They're great people. They're just busy, and I get it. So the other tool that I'm working on getting, I, I got to get some uh, punches made for it. And I think you guys are going to think this is, you guys are going to like what I got. This thing is pretty neat, but uh, I, I got to get it rolling. And um Part of that is waiting on this machine shop to get those parts run. The uh, the stock that I got for the punches has been there for almost a year now. And um, it, it, it's taken them some time. They're busy with Remington and AAC contracts. So they're a good machine shop. They, they work with a lot of reputable uh, companies. But good is uh, either expensive or time consuming. And I've just been really patient. So that's the next thing I'm working up to. And I'm hoping the next product that I release is going to be that part. Like I said, hopefully uh, Joe Biden doesn't destroy the gun industry. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with uh, all these court cases and recounts from the massive fraud that the Americans experienced with their election in 2020. So anyways, guys, I'm going to call it a day. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. And I encourage you to check out these new shim kits. I think you guys are going to like them. Um, definitely leave me your feedback. I appreciate all the kind comments so far for all you that have been getting the shim kits. And I'm the gun psychiatrist signing off. Until next time, God bless America again.